What episode are we on? Does anyone know? Uh, like a thousand. I think thousand and one. Sixteen. Welcome to podcast episode one thousand and one. Yeah, Actually, you guys it's number a lot. sixteen. Sixteen Chin was right. I was right. I'm out here. But <laughs> welcome, welcome, welcome. We I can start you, here. I thought you had an old fashioned for a second. Oh, that was just crushing. Fancy. Next Monday. Next Monday. We'll get that right. pre New Year's Eve. So we're all are trying we, to rearrange ourselves to make sure the camera is are, are we breaking the like what what is it fourth, fourth wall, wall fifth wall sixth wall so wait we're recording we this like now but this is gonna be like a time travel <laughs> for too. oh never mind it's not live on the thing never mind we're not streaming it maybe that thought i had wasn't <laughs> oh gonna make any sense God. rob might get it by next week maybe uh, well next week we might be streaming it oh my might goodness be. yeah it's just, just too much confusion based oh. on uh we'll have to whip out the keyboard again consumer demand <laughs> I gotta say this is we. <laughs> this is like slightly awkward because we've never done a podcast where we're this close and just yeah, like just all like looking at each other, intimate, face to face. I I've stared Rob down every podcast. so yeah. this is nothing. That's new. fair. I've always I'm used, been like I'm used to like getting stared by all three of you. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so it's nice that up. like we're all, it's at least split up this time. Here, man, is this better? Yeah, this is this right, is perfect. <laughs> this, Please I don't move the mic. Oh no! Oh no! Oh, look oh. at the mic thing. Oh, uh, he's dead. Drew's gonna die. It's going to be nice to not get kicked the whole podcast by yeah. Drew now, too. Oh, buddy, we'll figure out a way. <laughs> Things there's no more spinny chairs either. So yeah. I mean, this funny. might be our permanent spots if we never move. This one bounces. Well, actually, no. You two have to be in the back, no matter what. In terms They're, of like, size? Yeah. They're thick boys. Girth? Because yeah. could you imagine, like, Rob right here and then Drew in the corner? <laughs> be like, I'm not that. Oh, again, in the, like, me and Drew look the same height here. Yeah, I literally look like the same size as Shane, except it is not the case. I keep glancing at the camera because I'm, <laughs> I'm just not used to seeing myself fall on once. It's pretty funny. This is I why can... he can't have mirrors in his room because yeah. he walks by in the morning. He's like, <laughs> who's that sexy beast? Or like, it's the opposite. He just, like, wakes up in a mirror maze and <laughs> can't look at himself again yeah. during the day. <laughs> Rob's mom is like, honey, we got to go. Rob's like, oh, fuck, I... mirror mom. <laughs> <laughs> which, which one are you? <laughs> I'm like trying to run out of my doors, keep hitting mirrors. <laughs> Those mirror houses are really fucked. Have you guys ever been inside one or no? I want to. Maybe once. Maybe you, wanted... you were maybe in one? Yeah. Like, <laughs> like, like if I was in one, it was when I was a little gaffer. A little gaff. That's you the ever... best because you have no idea. So you just smash in the mirror, start yeah. crying. Yeah. Now they made like, it why where am I swiggly? You have to wear like uh, gloves when you why? go in there. What? And you can't, you can't go faster than walking. That's fair. You think of that how shitty that would be to clean. Yeah. You'd be like, oh, there's a spot gloves, on this though. mirror, and then you realize it's like seven mirrors over there. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> You're chasing one spot all day. You're just like scrubbing it. You just say, like, finally got it. Take your hand off. It's still there. And you're still, <laughs> Fucking hell. Where is it? <laughs> Show yourself. Yeah. That'd be a disaster. That would be awful. We but should do that if we go to Niagara. I'm Niagara down. on the on lake? lake? We'll race. Who no. can get through quickest? Who gets the Obviously most? Don't you not. literally like just put your hand like on the left wall and then follow the left wall all the way yeah. to the end? That's how yeah most mazes you can just all the way. I think. Or is it right? Yeah, just I guess it doesn't right. matter. Left or right. Yeah. What, what about you if you're end. in the maze from Harry Potter and there's like giant spiders trying to kill you and stuff? Well, then you kill yourself because you're in Harry Potter and that's awful. So. Cedric Whoa. Diggory. Oh, speaking of movies. Oh. Speaking of movies. Yikes. You want to talk about something? How oh, movie reviews are mov- a crock of shit. Yeah, how movie reviewers are a crock of shit. Why? Um, well, okay. I'm so interested. there's two layers to this conversation. One of them is like I didn't know he was like, capable of two layers. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like an onion, bro. Didn't know he's capable of conversation. Uh, okay, oh. who's next? You got some add? No. <laughs> Side note. Okay. Um, okay. So first question is: Do you guys? If would you? Okay, say a movie comes out you really want to see. Uh-huh. Would you not go see it if it got a bad review? No. From somewhere? Yeah. Okay. Well, w- from what? Like from a. Like professional from uh, Rotten what's the yeah Ron, if say you wanted to go see like there was a, a and it had siege, a, t- a tomato rating of like sixteen percent yeah there's a like a siege live action movie that you really want to see if and like was, see see I, I can answer for you Christian's the type of guy to be like hey, the, he sees sixteen percent he's like no I'm not I don't yeah, care what they say the I'm gonna go yeah. see it anyway if, Fuck it, it. if it was user reviews I probably wouldn't or I'd wait for it to come out on Netflix I wouldn't want to pay for it Christian's but if it was too like, deep into the stats yeah. but if it was a <laughs> professional the analytics of it if it was a professional critic I probably wouldn't pay attention to it yeah exactly but okay because is this bouncing off of what I said earlier S- ish so oh, basically yeah, yeah, yeah. everyone <laughs> fuck us don't tell us <laughs> I'm about to say everyone has been roasting the shit out of the new Star Wars yeah saying that it's awful and like everyone I've seen, even people who I follow on Twitter who are huge diehard Star Wars fans have said it's awful. I haven't talked to my consultant Me Nile either. yet. Yeah. <laughs> but, so. so everyone has said it's awful. And I told Rob that and he's like, oh, that's bullshit. I'm like, 
It's I mean, bullshit. if every single person is saying that's bad, even the diehard fans, mm-hmm. I have to believe that it's it's not good. Pretty I just bad. think it's pack See, mentality, man. Like Bree's brother was that it was like an okay movie, like it had good battles and stuff like that. Except it was just a bad Star Wars movie. I heard that they. Compl- I haven't seen it, but I haven't seen it either. But from what I heard, they took like all the story that they developed over the last few movies, and they just threw it all out the window. Yeah, it's kind of again. It, it it was a good movie, but it just didn't make any sense. Yeah, like. But Wait, which, so have you guys, any guys have seen it yet? No, I have no we're all reviewing a movie we have not seen. <laughs> <laughs> Based um, on other people's reviews. What else yeah. would you expect from yeah. us, Rob? Wait, have you seen it? I haven't. I'm going to see it like, in a week-ish. But my, so why did... My, my, so wait, literally none of us have seen it? No, no sorry, we're reviewing. <laughs> okay, but my quarrel is just like people who don't... Like I have a buddy who like swears by movie reviews and like won't go see a movie if it gets one bad review. Like I was talking to him about the other day. I'm like, hey, you want to come see it? And he's like, no, man, it got reviews and everyone's trashing it. I'm like, it gets a it's crock of bullshit, man. Like, <laughs> like that's someone's opinion. And like, here's another here's the other layer I was getting to. Like Three layers. Oh man, reviewers Reception. like people who get paid to put opinion on something. Like, how the hell do you get? How did like how does someone become a world acclaimed movie reviewer? You I mean, know what yeah, I mean? It's, it's like food critics. And, yeah, food critics. It's like. Well, what you're, what you're, makes this guy's opinion on a movie so much better than like what I think about it? Because I, generally they know the industry. They know how things are made. So they can look at a movie and be like, this is all practical effects. And they usually score practical effects higher because it's not just going into a computer and... Yeah, or, okay, yeah. or, or they're just an idiot with a following. Yeah, that's that also like it. Me. Yeah, that's like me. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I just don't get it. Like, I get that you can like critic... Uh, com- like, compare and analyze movies based on like kind of a framework like you said like yeah. effects and stuff but end of the day you can't if someone like puts out an opinion piece on a movie it's just the same as anybody else doing it you know what i mean it's just except so, they're getting paid and you're not i know their right? opinion I, matters I, also I just you don't have to get remember, how they get there like these people with these followings usually they follow them because they have the same taste in movies so like, yeah. if you and me had identical taste in movies and then you said the new star wars was awful why would I go watch it then? Okay, yeah, that's, I that's fair. I know that I'm going to have the same taste but as like, you. But, like, like a, pro- a professional movie reviewer isn't going to have the same taste as me. That's what I mean. Like, yeah, I would just you, have personally. you yeah. haven't found one yet. Which is why you ignore them. Yeah. yeah. you, you got to find your mo- movie reviewer. So I feel yeah. like this boils down to you're mad that they're making money for doing basically nothing. I'm, Pretty I'm, much. I'm so pumped for what, next week, Rob, to sit down at the podcast and like, guys, guess what? Saw Star Wars and it was fucking awful. They were right. <laughs> <laughs> they were all right. No, I should have listened. Either that or I'll make my own opinion piece and I'll be out in the New York Times in like a week from now. <laughs> But he just and then I'll buy us for a new podcast podcast room. Podcast, podcast, whatever. Podcast. House. I just don't get it. Well, I don't understand how you get to that point. Like what? Or for, same. Christian, care to care to jump in here? I just don't understand. Like, how do you be- become a professional critic? Like, that just sounds like an oxymoron. No, how do you pr- become a professional YouTuber? I was yeah, saying, they're just indirectly insulting me. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. Well, like, not as a it critic. Happen? It's like, where do you go wrong? Just in life? one day, <laughs> one day you wake up, you have enough people following you that, hey, I can make a job out of this. I guess. And like, you're a professional. <laughs> I got to find people to pay me for my fucking takes yeah, on I things. I mean, you got to get back on that Instagram grind. Honestly, I haven't posted a picture I haven't in a seen while. our shirtless pic in a long time. I can just take my shirt off now if you really want to. No. <laughs> Let's do it. We'll just blur his nips. I guess we could. Free Where's the nipple. The the <laughs> That's all you got to do, yeah. right? On yeah. Twitch, yeah. Yeah, true. Wait, you can't be naked on Twitch? Or- on Twitch now, men have to have uh, tape on their nipples or at least something covering it. Electrical tape? Black? And an X? <laughs> Duct tape. <laughs> oh. You should, just wax, you should just wax me one day just for fun. Okay. Wax my chest? Yeah. That sounds awful. I've Let's waxed my leg before. Really? Did it Why? hurt? I feel like we talked about this in one of the did. podcasts. Yeah. Yeah. I don't remember. <laughs> yeah, I heard. It you hurt were here for every single podcast. I know. I just don't remember it. All right. Well, man, just go back and watch our podcast. Yeah, Get us them views. <laughs> I've never gotten anything waxed before, so what's it's not. It, it, it's like the first couple hurt, and then it's okay. And you get used to it. Yeah. We should wax Christian. Unless you go like straight. I have um, no hair. Thirty. I'm sure you got hair somewhere. I've been growing. <laughs> <laughs> just sticks a strip across his right hair. Here. A reverse mohawk or something. <laughs> oh, down. For him, to do it, not me. Oh, geez, you can make, maybe make it work, but no, <laughs> I don't think you can. Mm-hmm. Oh, speaking mm-hmm. of hair, we saw a guy with like the most amazing mullet the other day. Who's we at rock climbing? Me and Shane. Mm-hmm. Like, I, don't, like, I don't, I don't remember going like rock climbing. Seventies, 
like, like the seven. top the top was like this big curly and then it went down to like here on the back why <laughs> yeah and it was like and it looked decent yeah. i hate or like it looked like, like for a mullet yeah. it was like one of the best mullets i've it ever seen like old school cool yeah, yeah, yeah. you want it to yeah. look like this but like the it. top was like all curly like probably like this thick and then just straight down to the back but the sides were like 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 a perm oh, with gosh. a mullet with like correct nice. it was perfect and the dude was climbing v7s easy uh, yeah you, you don't have a haircut like that and climb b2 <laughs> exactly exactly <laughs> I still understand what V something means. It's if like, I'm being it's honest, just it's just like difficulty. Yeah, V10 is where it's like most people, even the good people, won't really be able to do it. So even I couldn't do that. It's probably. like no. it goes. V- you can't <laughs> even do a V2. It no, goes like it goes like V1. VB up to like V8 plus. But what about VG? Rock wall. Subscribe. <laughs> Get it? Whoa, VG rock wall. Do we just have a breakthrough Whoa. here? Whoa. We did. It all makes sense. <laughs> Wow! You had a Machiavellian plan when you made your. <laughs> That's a big like, word, Rob. Machiavellian. I don't know what it means. I mean, I think it means like. Evil. I'm pulling a blank, sort of. I think it means like when you do something with like the intention to like get like a bigger picture out of it. Machiavellian. Wait, can we Google things now? Uh, at, oh, with right? no like keyboard. We, <laughs> we, we got a broke setup. All right, we good. gotta ask Alexa or Siri or someone to do it Siri. for us. I guess. Oh, I should have brought my phone with me. Yeah. Did you just break your neck. Yes, I did. Again, I sure uh, I sure brought my phone with me because um someone DM'd me a picture of a guy like it was like two in the morning like two days ago. Mm-hmm. I got it and I always get these really weird like account names messaging me on Instagram like message requests, right? Mm-hmm. Um, and uh, I I was like, okay, I'll, I'll, uh, this one like the name looked like like a normal normal name, <laughs> so I clicked on it and it was just like a picture of like a dude with a mustache and a mullet, <laughs> and it was like two three in the morning. And I was like, LOL, what the fuck? And the person's like, holy shit, you actually responded. And I was like, yeah, I'm just I'm not that. You know what I mean? I'm like, so, yeah, man, your message was weird enough that I actually responded. Yeah. Congrats. I had to. I should have sent you guys a picture, but it was pretty funny. It was like a textbook classic mullet and like stash combo. Just so you know, by the way, Machiavellianism is when you do something with the ulterior motive for, or like you try to manipulate people to make your goals get achieved. Okay, that, it's like, that pretty much sums me up. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. I think I already forget what I what yeah, context I, I used it in. It. So yeah. probably the wrong you context. Said I was but... Machiavellian for oh yeah, VG Rockwell, yeah, because you ended up rock climbing all the time. Which also I I completely forgot. I'm pretty sure I didn't make any announcement or anything about this. My channel's ten years old. Oh, in October, a decade. That's crazy. Yeah. Should we do like a little round of yeah, that applause? That could have gone so many ways. Yeah. <laughs> Woo, 10. Yay. Yay. October 23rd. 10 years was. old. As of, and I'm pretty sure I didn't post anything or do anything. Like, how'd you even catch it? Did YouTube tell you or something? It's no, it's, it's just like you go to the pa- channel and it says like, oh, created shit. on 23rd, 2009. Oh. Hmm. Hmm. Well, Why did you create it right before Christmas? I don't know. It was a Christmas gift to himself, obviously. I made, I I made the like... channel and I just let it sit for like a year before I actually uploaded to mm-hmm. it. I just want the name. Because back then, like, you could only get one username 10 years eh a decade of <laughs> success and prosperity it just seems so no. weird to me it's like two <laughs> two years of success and prosperity <laughs> yeah or a, a, a one month with a twitch uh what was the thing the, the, charm. the charm yeah <laughs> but you um, wanted the name so bad for something that you didn't even do well like well like i wanted to do it i just didn't know what i wanted to do yet so i just took the name yeah. Rock like, all of us can be called So Call Andy or <laughs> So Cal Andy, baby. <laughs> so, uh, Jesus. A lot like, of people used to do that back th- in the day. So, you know how Rooster Teeth has like a bunch of sub channels? They have one called Let's Play, and they have like the original Let's Play name because the guy got the name back like 10 years ago and just. Isn't that called Cyber Squatting? Like an actual thing? No, the it's channel's like called username. Let's Play. Oh, that's a domain name. So like right? a green icon. No. Oh right? yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. So he. And it's basically yeah. my logo, but turned sideways. Yeah. Christian yeah. stole it from him. Yeah. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So, uh, well, I guess that, <laughs> yep. that could that brings another question I could think of. What? So your name's Rockwell with R A H W. It's like Rockwell. It's like from what, Boston. What went into that? Like you said, you wanted it, but you didn't know what you were gonna do with it. Well, how'd you settle on Rockwall or Rockwall? Oh, that's just always it's been like my username. Randomly generated. Like where did, yeah, where did, from World of Warcraft. It was randomly generated. Yeah. Oh, mm-hmm. it was Rockwall, and then I add the L to make it cool. Where did yeah. you get the what inspiration behind uh, Jon Snow sixty nine? I love Jon Snow, and I like the sixty nine bitches. <laughs> where did you get the inspiration behind our nasty seven twenty? Seven twenty. Did I tell you guys how I got that? No, actually? no, no, no. It's about Rassy. <laughs> oh, well, it's actually not the cool. Not the, it's not that cool of a story, but. I had like an idol 
who was a Modern Warf like a COD streamer back in the day. <laughs> okay. Named Jay Nasty Seven Twenty. Have you heard of him? I think no, I showed you him I'm once. I think I've showed you. Our Nasty like Seven Twenty, but that, that makes sense. Like montages. No, so like he, this Jay Nasty was this guy that like, he was like the epitome of what like. I would have been if I was a streamer, in my opinion. <laughs> Just like some guy who was beefed up from, from Texas, streamed COD. He would always get like eight people from his like ch- chat to come in and like run support kill streaks for him and like give him like all these like extra. Like, do you guys play Modern Warfare 3? I don't know, probably not. Uh, I yeah. own it, but I didn't play it a lot. Like, there you could get like ballistic vests so you would like take in more damage. Like, there are lots of like. You can kind of like turn one person in your team into a god if everyone else is running support around them. <laughs> so Jay Nasty would just like round up guys from his like chat and bring them in and just get like five, six like nukes and games and stuff. But he would just be screaming the whole time. Like <laughs> he'd, he'd be like 79 and 0, would die once, but fuck! Like, someone fucked up somewhere and just like screaming at everyone. His YouTube videos. That's amazing. Were, his, that does sound like you. Yeah, yeah, his YouTube videos are always like calling people out. And like he was just like a very like edgy youtuber i guess you could say back in the day this is like six seven years ago though i strangely want to go watch it now dude i'm telling you you guys gotta go watch jay nasty's best clips man like he's like it's actually rob it was just me yeah Yeah. like you guys know buddhism right when you die you get reincarnated i firmly believe that like me and him are like have the same life energy yikes We, we share chakra if, that how that, if that's how that works. I don't works. think that's what that is. He's just like fronting like he's a Buddhist. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like chakra. I don't know if, that has, if that's some, how that works. Just tossing out like, you know, Buddhism buzzwords, hoping for the best. But yeah, I don't know. He's my... Uh, that's where Scary. I got our nasty from. Rob's like secretly a YouTube oh. millionaire. Yeah. That's a pretty good... That's like a decent story to yeah. it at least. Bank account update. Bank, Bank account, account update. Oh, it's this looking is rough. Good. This it's is looking good. rough. You have a job. Yeah, but yeah. I had so... Yeah, but new COD came out. In October. Again. He bought another copy. Yeah. Just, I actually haven't played. They're on sale right I now. haven't played COD that much. I don't really like this new one very very too much. I can go off on a rant about that too. I've been playing Please a lot do. of Overwatch lately. No, where's my Please invite? Sponsor us. Yeah. Please sponsor us, Blizzard. Please sponsor. Um, quick, get the R6 back in there. Yeah, quick. <laughs> well, it's our R6 logo. It's like. Whatever. It's close enough. Lion or Finca, one of the two. Finca? Finca. Finca. Okay. Um, I think I can. I think um. Right. Anyway, a disclaimer. If I'm a little congested still, it's because what are you guys doing? Um, I'm getting over a, a head cold, but I think I'm better at the moment. <laughs> you guys are fine. Like the, the day you, when you start to feel good is the day you you sound what the worst. To the story. I'm just going on a tangent, <laughs> man. I'm just I'm just letting the people know why I sound nasally. Yeah. Okay. You, head you cold, sound the same continue. as you always fine, do. Fine. Fine. Like, okay. Like, to tell the story, I have to go back to earlier today when yeah. I was sick. Well, there circa was, 1999. Circa, circa 1775 when Alexander the Great first discovered North America. So he's like, man, you got like 80 that. bucks in the bank account. Yeah, around there. Yeah. No. Uh, so I got paid, and it was nice, but I had to pay phone, car. I'm chipping away at my debt from the Iron Bank, aka my parents. Yep. Mm-hmm. Um, and then Christmas gifts. I don't know about you guys. Uh, I hate buying Christmas gifts, except yeah. for like we already had this chat today. Yeah. yeah. Um. Oh really? Yeah, you were late. Now, now we can have it, Rob. Yeah, Drew and I just me and Drew will just kind of have our own little late talk here. Okay. Why? Why? I wanna. <laughs> <laughs> but like, so like my parents, yeah, I like getting them stuff. My sister, yeah. But then, like, anyone outside of my extended family call me a Scrooge. I'm just like, why am I buying you something? Like, you, I won't. Like, like you, I like, 100% agree. You don't want to buy me something. I know that. I, I'm like... You should buy me something. Yeah, maybe. Excuse yourself? <laughs> you have a job. Because <laughs> like, I don't know. Yeah. But, <laughs> you should but, buy me something. But you know what I mean, though? It's like... <laughs> it was worth a shot. It's like, I, I don't feel bad saying this because I guarantee no one else besides my parents and sister wants to buy me anything. You know what I mean? True. So it's I, just like I'm going out there buying. I can gifts. speak from experience, true. Yeah, I, yeah, I've I wanted been, to buy him a gift for like three years now, but every year I forget. And oh, Christmas okay. fast. I'm like, yeah, next year. Uh, maybe, I have yeah, a really yeah, close family, so like I've always bought my aunt stuff and vice versa. Okay, yeah, I, I see that, but like I'm not like super. I I see like my extended family like once a year, twice a year. Drew so. sees him like once a fucking weekend. Yeah, well, honestly, out in BC, the so BC like reunion. He was saying, "Oh, my pa- or my family just got here as I'm leaving for the podcast." I'm like, "You see them every fucking yeah. week." This Texas <laughs> no, no. family was definitely here over the summer as well. Yeah, and he was like, there as well. I'm pretty yeah, sure yeah, yeah, before yeah. that. The last Christmas, I was there. Yeah, yeah exactly. So you're, you're fine. <laughs> what the hell, man? Stop being greedy. You guys are nuts. <laughs> but I know we've had this conversation before. I, I have the same uh, ideology process, yeah. for christmas gifts as i do birthday gifts is like i don't like buying people birthday gifts 
because mm-hmm. it's like say you and me are having a birthday I'm going to yeah. buy you a $20 gift. Yeah. And then when my birthday comes around, you're like, okay, he bought me a $20 gift. I'm going to buy him a $20 no, gift. No, no, I have yeah. to buy it's him just like, It's just you're basically just you're like, here, here's 20 bucks. I would, Give me the 20 yeah. bucks in a year from now. I would rather okay. cash in all my gifts for like a, a check. But Christian, just, from now on, I'm going to give you give a $20 money. bill on your birthday and you give that exact $20 bill back to me on my I'll birthday. I'll do it. Cool. All right. Okay. That this is maybe this is the future of gift giving. Maybe we just be had a maybe we're just revolutionized. <laughs> just don't give gifts. You just yeah. pass around like a toonie every year. Literally, like I would like again take whatever you were gonna buy me. Don't save yourself the trouble going to the store. Just and don't transfer me the twenty five or that works too. <laughs> Donating. <it. laughs> yeah, Rob's like yeah, never mind. Yeah, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, uh, donate. <laughs> yeah, but like I'm just I don't know. I just don't feel too like again. Call me a Scrooge. Blah blah blah. See, I just don't really think like, you're, you're in the wrong group of people to think that we're gonna criticize you. Well, for I don't well, know. Yeah, for don't once, know for you. once. <laughs> but growing up, like for my aunts, my present would be like a frame that I painted with like a little picture, like my year pitch school. Oh, that's book. so cute. Yeah, but you're a kid. That's different. Yeah, yeah you know, Drew like still literally year. makes his aunt's macaroni <laughs> pictures. <laughs> like, what do you mean? This is why he's in this year. He's like gone Christmas. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Yeah. No. So this year it's like the because your aunt's gonna tune in. Man, my dad tunes in. He's like, "You swear a lot." Yeah. He's like, "You gotta stop swearing. I'm gonna show your grandma." I'm like, "Dad, don't show grandma. What do you mean?" Yeah. Jeez. I told my mom, like, "Just mom, please do us all a favor and just don't Tell listen your, to it, please." Well, I guess your dad will listen to this. I want to see a Leafs game with him one day because I've heard him yelling in the background while you're gaming <laughs> sometimes. So, like, I'm sure he's just yeah, as he bad at watching it. a game as you he's are. Like, he's like, "Bree, why haven't you taken me to one? Like, she's <laughs> taking me to like two now or something." But this it's year, just, it's like a framed picture of my grad photos. So it's like, you know. Okay, yeah. So that's sentimental. It's the cycle. It's like, wow, it's <laughs> oh, I'm going to do so much with this. Puts it Where's in ours? The, puts it in the I filing mean, cabinet with the rest care. of the pictures. Yeah. <laughs> there's like a bunch of other cousins just piled up yeah. in like a drawer somewhere. No, and there's only two of us on each side. Okay, that's mm. nice. I have I'm, actually, I'm, I'm, I'm the middle of the Venn diagram, so. I'm, I'm working my head around that. Venn diagram yeah. being right. two families and you're in the middle. Like there's two, he there's, did it. There's, two, there's two cousins on each side, oh. and I am one of those two on each side. Oh, okay. That, like those two cousins aren't related to each other. I have you're one related. cousin on both sides. And then you're, I'm still, what? I still can't get yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. So, so like each of so those. Like no, four, so am I this aunt, dumb? I just don't like, understand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The so, aunt has two cousins on each side of the family. Drew is one of each of those cousins. I still don't get it. <laughs> <laughs> he just explained it Did really I just bad. have a brain. <laughs> just in case. So, so okay, so if think of it from the aunt's point of view. Okay. Yeah. There's two cousins here, and then Drew overlaps. He's one of the cousins on the other side as well. So technically, each side of the family has two cousins. So you're her Drew's nephew, not your cousin. Uh, but wait, like, how are you cousins no, 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 I know, I know. But like, there you... is there is two cousins on each side, and Drew's okay, one of them. So she has each two side. cousins on her dad's side, and two cousins on her mom's. And side. Drew's one on each side. No, 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 okay, all right. What? I don't Both, get this. Right, so this is the so... No. <laughs> you, okay, okay. Are you saying no, nephew no, or so cousin? Hold on, hold on, hold on. This is in the middle. So in the middle, this is me in the middle here. Yeah. Okay. Okay. These are both sides of my family. This is my dad. This is my mom's side. Yeah. Right? Both sides have a niece and a nephew. Okay. He's both the nephews. I am both okay. the nephews. Okay. That makes. So, <laughs> I'll be honest. I, I, I am the nephew. The way he wore it, you could have just said like, like. This is back. To the episode where fucking. Yeah, but we were talking about it. Shane, or he said exactly what you said backwards. <laughs> yeah. So you're basically just saying that you are the nephew because you're your parents' son. <laughs> yeah, but there's also the niece. On both sides. Yeah, there's one niece over sides. here, one niece over here. Wait, there's two separate Fuck nieces, right? Yes. Like your cousin. And there's one similar nephew. So overall, there's two nieces and, and one, one nephew. nephew. And he's the nephew. Okay. But that could have been explained no, so no, much but better. But each side has a niece and a nephew. And he's both those nephews. I am both the nephews. This is word like, <laughs> like why are this you is word of like a test on like a sad or something like that. Like, Don't worry, Rob. Just put your hand on the left wall and you'll get there. Okay. Bob buys <laughs> 15 watermelons. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, how do we get out of here? <laughs> we close the door and two hours later we come and he's still doing circles. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> track Wait, so what was the point of that? <laughs> Buying presents yeah, what, or some shit. What were we shit. getting at? Um, oh, so she values his picture more because... Oh, yeah, yeah, because there's only double like, the weight. No, exactly. Two of, us. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. three of us. Two of us on each side, three of us in total. Four, four of them, but he's two of them. 
<laughs> this is still so fucked. Yeah, so it's like it's All like they care the whole about point was just that like you're the only nephew, so she wants a gift from you. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. It's so, summer. That, why did you <laughs> say that? Well, why didn't you ask? <laughs> <laughs> All I got was like, like incestual undertone was that whole time. I was just like, wait, you're the nephew, but you're also her cousin. My mom, my uncle on my mom's side, similarly, my uncle on my dad, no. <laughs> Welcome to Alabama. I have no uncle. That's why we're all tied, baby. We're all yeah, tied. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, knows all about that. Yeah, but I hate buying Christmas gifts for everybody. You had to bring it back. Yep. Yo, Rob, Cowboys lost. Yeah. Um, that was ugly. And there's a big Vikings game tonight. Can see oh, you can finally do it. Can you see it? Kind of. It overlaps on both cameras. Fucking wow. right. Drew, Drew can't lift his leg up that high. <laughs> Big Leafs game today. They're they're taking the fat dub. Uh, they were down 5-3. You can see on the microphone <laughs> tracks where he put his foot on the table. It just makes like a thud on all of them. Hey, like man, that, was a sock that, was, that was actually... I just got a, plain ones today. I usually... Yeah, I'm usually... Like, like, Bree's grandparents gave me them. From now on, like, Shout all out. I ask for my mom for Christmas is socks. I'm going to have like 20 new fresh pairs and they're all going to be something stupid. Oh, man, like socks. the ones like I showed you. Sarah gifted oh, me yeah. one. It's just a cat with just a Christmas tree on its head. Dude, that elf thing you had gave me the biggest like laughing fit. <laughs> Yo, every with the, every the pair. ladder one. <laughs> yeah. That was so creepy. I didn't like that. I was dying. Yeah, is that bro. at your apartment? What? Oh no, that's my parents' house. Oh. oh. Yeah. So, so my like, mom bought it. It's just like this thing that hooks up to the tree, and it's just a snowman that climbs up and down and plays Christmas music. It's like a hangman that's actually almost. Sick. And it, and the snowman's holding like a string of lights, so it just looks like he's stringing lights onto the tree. But well, so my mom has something similar. Technology's come so far. Do? Why do you keep pointing at him? Because he has he has like three eyelashes on his glasses, oh. like lens, and it's just infuriating to look at. Oh, oh. yeah, you're right. I didn't even notice. <laughs> My mom has something similar to that, Shane. It's like a, it's a Santa Claus that r- climbs up a rope, but it just like no, goes sick. up and then goes down. That and sounds seductive in a word. Oh my god! It's gym he, class. He climbs to the top, jumps, climbs <laughs> to the climbs top, jumps. Though did you know that? That's, that's an actual, actual that's a living breaks organism. Breaks his leg, <laughs> sprains his ankle, <laughs> takes a week. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, that's messed up. Yeah, it's too soon. Broken, Drew. Yeah, yeah health update. update. Um. Yeah, I mean, I went to the doctor. She's like, it's not torn. She did like, you know, like the test to catch people up. What's wrong with you? But yeah, who knows, man? Was this I, does this fall up from the leg injury from no, climbing no. or what? I took I took two weeks off to he study bl- for my he exam. Blamed on climbing, but he didn't climb at all during the I, that's period. Why His knee so, was but, fucked up. But I didn't do anything else. What else could it be? You weren't active enough. The you go to physio, man. Uh, well, that's that's what the doctor told me. To do. Yeah, I checked out a physio. Um, like, so what's wrong with your knee? It's just it hurts. It's like if it just I swell up. If I no, well, like it swells up if I use it a lot. But I got a brace that seems to be okay. Brace, but it's help. like if I if I bend it all the way back, like like I fully contract my hamstring, which happens it, a bunch. It just hurts or in the joint. Like, no, 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 but like while climbing, feels like someone's just stabbing a knife in my knee. But yeah. I went to the doctor well, and no she good. like pushed everything around and she's like did you feel any of that i'm like no and she's like well it's not torn then that would have been excruciating Wait, like, you oh well, that's I good didn't t- i did nothing fell out or anything i was just making sure and then uh she sent me sent me to physio cool physio so always physio starts in the new year yeah i gotta find a place go, go to actually i'll tell you after because i'll probably stop my man <laughs> <laughs> he's learning yeah. he's learning you're your new rob I'll, I'll go uh i'll recommend you to the guy i went to he got he me cheap? up and running is he what is he cheap I was underneath my I guess you don't really want a cheap the physiotherapist. Yeah. Not really. And Luckily, I don't I like, think you're going to find one. Yeah, that too. <laughs> a cheap physiotherapist is just like your neighbor. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like, like some yeah, man, I, I had a, one of my friends did a master's in physiotherapy. And then... Let me guess. Move to BC. <laughs> Close. <laughs> Australia. Oh, Calgary. You told Calgary. Me this. Yeah, you told Cal- me this. Calgary. Wow. Yeah. To go be with his girlfriend. So. Oh, oh, loser. Screw me, right? Can't fix my knee. No, fly he's... out there. You fly out there like every week anyways. True. I got, a, I got a companion voucher. Just take a lift. <laughs> Might as well. And, and like 400 me. WestJet dollars. And throw some Canadian tire money as a tip. Mm-hmm. Yo, they give, they, it's cards now, eh? I didn't know. I just got I just got money yesterday. I went there. Yeah, yeah. If you go to Canadian Tire, you get... I almost said that word. Um, <laughs> if you go to Canadian Tire, you get uh, the paper money. But if you go to like Marks, they partner with Canadian Tire and they give you a card. Oh, I'm Sports Check does too. Yeah, I haven't been inside Marks in fucking forever. There's nothing like there's nothing like going to Canadian Tire with your like mom or dad when you're a kid and they give you Getting like Canadian Tire money. three three cents in Canadian Tire. You're like, it's oh, so shitty because like my parents would save up for years. They have like a hundred dollars Canadian Tire money. They just have wads like of just stacked like a briefcase full of just 
sense. Yeah. yeah. And it takes them so long to sort it out once you get the store. Like, just put it on a card. Yeah, honestly. Yeah, save me some time. It's like well, a pop I was just Save the fucking environment because of all that paper you're printing well, out. Yeah. There. That's money, though, so. Yeah. Yeah. It's and, real, it has real world value. Yeah, supports yeah. the economy. Yeah. Do you think on, like, the world economy... There's just like all these dollars that's in the box is Canadian tire. Canadian tire money. <laughs> It'd probably be up there pretty high. It doesn't lose value. Over this. Which I guess a lot of people probably don't know what Canadian tire is, honestly. It's uh, like a hardware yeah. store. Yeah, well, it's Canadian. It, it gives you like dollars back, but they actually give you real bills. Mm-hmm. Well, like first. And, and like, it's not dollars, it's cents. Oh, yeah. It's nice too because it's, it's awful. Canadian tire is fucking everything, right? Mm-hmm. Like, you can buy like a brand new house. Yeah. It's not shit. too bad. Like, so I used to always, your fingies in it all. I used to always get it from getting gas. You can get gas there and they always give it to you. So if you're know, getting right? gas there consistently, you slowly over makes, a year make up a couple bucks. That I should start sense. going there. Yeah, no, you shouldn't. Go to Costco. Nah, you man. don't have gas in your car. <laughs> that was the joke, You bro. cheeky boy. <laughs> what a cheeky boy. This yeah. guy probably goes to the Tesla chargers and pretends to plug his Tesla in. <laughs> he probably pulls up to like a, a gas station, pulls in, looks around for it, and just leaves again right after. <laughs> yeah. Ta-ha, That's you a peasant. big thing, eh? What? I was reading it on Reddit where people... Um, will go with their tesla and they'll just like barely plug it in so they don't have to pay for it and they just oh, use it yeah. as like a free parking spot i've been seeing mm-hmm. photos of that you can do that yeah well you're not supposed well, to y- yeah so i think if it's idle for over five minutes it starts charging you as a parking spot like a dollar a minute yeah it's um, pretty expensive oh, that's fucked so it- so people go and they just like use it as a free parking spot pretend to plug it in and everyone in the reddit threads like yeah whenever i see that i just plug it in for them <laughs> you're welcome <laughs> wait what happens if you like if, can, can if you plug it in it'll just start charging and they'll oh, pay then like, oh. yeah it doesn't do anything to the car but then you just get charged a dollar a minute and it oh. also charge you for the actual electricity who charges yeah. you though tesla elon himself oh so your car is like a built-in sensor yeah. christian's got to pay his charged. tesla bill every month well like every account has a credit card on it so whenever you use it, it just oh, charges everything so charges sense. it straight okay to your okay christian's the type of guy to go to like those the where the person actually fills gas in your car and just rolls up and the guy's like i where's the gas tank he's like i don't have one and drives away <laughs> he drives over drives over his feet <laughs> he waits off. in line for 25 minutes at costco just to troll one just person just to troll a gas station <laughs> throws a toonie out the window being like you're gonna be jobless soon <laughs> <laughs> drives away <laughs> this guy jokes on you i don't have cash oh, oh he, just throw him from throws your debit card, card yeah. him, throws the business card <laughs> wait, wait wait i need that back <laughs> he said buy yourself something nice buddy he actually does he goes and buys like a pc he said thanks for RC gaming <laughs> that'd be funny Yikes. i had a call mr beast i had a question that i came Yo. to mind after i did oh. my socks anyway i'll mention that after what you were gonna say because it sounds exciting a million dollars this this what well, yeah that too continue are you sure yeah i was just gonna ask because these are a christmas gift the viking like, socks if you guys have any, uh, or if you can remember one like Christmas gift that like defined your life for like Age of Empires three, I was gonna say PlayStation two. Uh, uh, the Wii. My dad bought me, but my dad helped me build a PC when I was like twelve, and that was the PC oh, I used to play Guild Wars. So damn, you started off that. young. Eh? You started before Christian did. Yeah, that sounds so creepy. <laughs> <laughs> I started I, off young, huh? I gamed Guild Wars hard. Dude, yeah. I just I just remember like I really wanted a PS two. And my parents were always such hard asses about getting like gaming shit for Christmas. They still are. And I remember like begging, 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 like, come on, I really want a PS2. Please, please, please. And then they were like, no, you're not getting a PlayStation. Are you crazy? <laughs> and then like Christmas comes around. And then like, I wonder if the mic picked that up. Did you just fart? No, that oh, was he just back broke cracking. his fucking oh. back again. Yikes. Okay. Continue. Um, shit happens. Uh, 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 quick, someone help me. Uh, uh, your parents. mom. Okay, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Your mom. Oh, yeah. 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 Um, and then, so Christmas comes around, and, like, my sister has, like, five presents under the tree, all, like, so many, like, it looks so good. Like, there's so many presents, and there's one little, like, cassette tape size <laughs> present for me. Just one. And I, on, and I, so I was a kid, to my, I'm thinking to myself, like, man, this sucks. What kind right? of croc is this? And I was like, <laughs> I'm already not getting a PS2, and they give you one present. It's this fucking big. And I just remember, I remember crying because I was such a little, I was such a spoiled little shit. I just remember being like, fuck this, the worst Christmas ever. Because you haven't even opened it yet. I don't even know what it is. And I was, I was just so sad. That I want to open it. That I wasn't going to get, I wasn't getting anything I wanted. So I opened it up, the thing, and it's like a little note. And it says like, go look in the dryer or something. And I was thinking to myself, oh, oh, we're getting somewhere. And then I run and look like where it was. And it was a fucking PlayStation. I literally just, I was like, show my pants. I was like. 
I don't, think, I, don't, I don't think I picked my jaw up off the floor. Crawls like didn't apologize. Minutes. Crawls into yeah, the dryer, did. parents turned it on. <laughs> <laughs> got him. It's like it's just a boss. <laughs> Your fucked. sister got the PS4. <laughs> my Yikes. sister just has a PlayStation 2. But uh, yeah, I remember they got me a PS2, Ratchet and Clank, uh, oh, Gold Commando, and yeah. NHL, the one that had Ovi on the front. I forget what one that was. Yeah. Super long time ago. Mm-hmm. They're all the same anyway. That would have been like so 2003 you can't, or Yeah. Four. You can't check people through the glasses easily in the new ones. Can yeah, you? you can't do it at all. It's so stupid. Yeah. but That used to be the best thing of growing up. Just like murder someone through in the Through the board. glass. Yeah. Or, your, or your player would lay on fire if you did yeah. something sick. <laughs> yeah, yeah. One of, one of my gift, best gifts was for PS2. My parents were like, oh, what do you want? And I was like, oh, I want the new San Andreas just came out. And they're like, GTA. They're like, I'm not, we're not buying that for you. And then I, my uncle's like, what do you want? And like, <laughs> just came out. And he shows up for Christmas and he's got the the cassette when it has Vice City, San Andreas, and oh, a third GTA gosh. game. I'm like, yeah. yeah let's get it. Let's go. Time to go to the strip club. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. I'm in the back alley with like the one stripper. <laughs> yeah, my parents always bought me COD, but my mom would not let me get GTA. Really? And then I was finally yeah. old enough for GTA 5 and I'm pretty sure I bought it myself. I would, mm-hmm. Dude, my parents were the opposite. Of, well, I think I didn't really tell them what GTA was. That's yeah. fair. Yeah. I was the same. A, I, yeah. snuck, I was like, oh, it's a car game. Yeah, I was like, it's racing with a bunch of other things. But my parents knew what COD was. They were like, you're never getting COD. They didn't let me get Halo for a bit. But then, like, I spent the, I just kind of showed up with Halo, like, three one day when I got my Xbox. And then uh, <laughs> they were like, my mom came down and so said, are you playing Halo? And I was like, yeah. She's like, who is this? I was like, oh, I'm borrowing it from a friend. She says, oh, just make sure you give it back to him when you're done. You're not allowed to have this game. And I was like, okay. <laughs> Three <laughs> years later. Little does she know it was mine. And I maxed out oh. all the gamer score. No big deal or anything. Wow. But just, yeah. saying, just putting that out there for anyone keeping score. I got screwed over because my parents knew what Grand Theft Auto was. So. Oh, gosh. Yeah, like, I remember. I, even if they didn't know what the game was, they're like, it's Grand Theft Auto. My dad would say GTA. <laughs> yeah. My dad would just sit and play with me. Like, oh, yeah. Christmas Eve, me and my dad would just sit and play. <laughs> just just killing strippers. <laughs> Shane's mom comes downstairs. They're just like sitting there in the strip club. <laughs> yeah. Another round, up. please. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You Amazing. Said, um, the GTA is the greatest Sean of like, Yeah, I'm playing like, a GTA. It's the 401 edition. Like, Come on. Shane's dad's like, now hand her a grenade. <laughs> there was like a there was one mission I remember playing Vice City. One mission where it literally took me like months to beat. Like I was stuck in one spot for months and months and months. And me and my friends would just come home every day, try it like 15 times, rage quit, go outside and play. But like oh, yeah. God, months. That was like me in Assassin's Creed. I played that a lot. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I, I remember getting stuck in Vice City as well. It was like a helicopter mission. Yeah, it's where you gotta like- plant the bombs in the building. It might have been the same one. I don't remember. But DS- for me to get my games, uh, my, I had one friend who his dad loved violent video games. So whenever... It's in jail now. <laughs> whenever my friend yeah, would be going friend. to the... <laughs> Both of them. When my friend would be going to the game store, he'd like, let me know. I'd be like, pick me up, pick me up, let's go. Yeah. And then always the clerks at all the stores are like, oh, sir, do you know that this game is rated M? It has violence and all this mm-hmm. stuff. And he'd be like, yeah, fuck yeah, let's buy it. <laughs> it's, got, it's got titties, guns. Wait, isn't your brother like ancient? Can you just get him to do it for you? Christian just Christian's just sitting there looking like Baby Yoda as his friend's dad yeah. buys him a video he's game. Just, he's, Christian's got the, the Baby Yoda just like bone you, soup or whatever. Yeah, exactly. You know this has is like violence, mature, and Christian just sitting there. <laughs> <laughs> he's just so ready to, for his brain to be like fucking tarnished. Yeah. Well, another really one or bad one was uh. So you guys remember how at Blockbuster they would give you just like the blank. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Generic mm-hmm. covers, right? So Throw I, back to Blockbuster, by yeah, the way. Yeah, I, I oh, always uh, rented Conker's Bad Fur Day, which is considered to be like classic. One, one of the most gruesome, over-the-top, violent video games ever. And um, on the cover of the CD is like Nazi teddy bears ripping apart someone's body and just blood <laughs> everywhere. Yeah. And then, luckily, my parents never saw that. But then one time we were, went over to my uncle's house. And my cousin opened up the like the case and just like, what the fuck is this? <laughs> She's like 10 years older than that. She's like... We're gonna tell your parents, like, and then she's just like, "Oh, like, you have to be nice to me whenever you come, because I was just like a little dick to her." She's like, "Be nice to me, and I won't tell your parents." <laughs> like, okay, 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 okay. <laughs> Wait, com- that was the one where there was like a squirrel in the front, right? And yeah. there was like a Czech squirrel that was like, like, Sexy. hot. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yikes. My uh, <laughs> my favorite blockbuster game memory was one night with my buddy Mike, or maybe it was a weekend. We we rented Army of Two. Oh, that like, game oh was my so god, fun. so good! It was that so game was sick, fun. dude. That game never got any hype anywhere, but it was. I don't sick. know. It was amazing. Yeah. Like the dude, the point, the best, like the best, because it gives you. A, have you played Christian? 
I played it a bit. I don't remember being. It like gives you that. options. You, like you, PC and play. you either do yeah. like you'll go through all this fighting and you get to like an important part and you either do A or B. Um, and like the one is like there's a sniper on the other side of it, but you're, there's heavy fight like fire at you, and um, <laughs> it's literally like there's like a little kid pops up. He's like, I can get the sniper for you. Don't worry. And you're sitting there, and then it like slows what? down, and it's like option A, send the kid to get the sniper and suppress, or option B, don't get the kid to get the sniper. It's too dangerous. When we're sitting there, me and my friend are like, send the kid. It's a pretty nice <laughs> sniper. You send it, and the kid like gets it, gets about halfway back. Bang. Bang. <laughs> Dead. And you're sitting there like, what the yeah, fuck yeah. did actually <laughs> happen? Dude, but yeah, there, and there's a lot like that. Like, that's just, that, that was like game? one of the first sections of the game. Yeah. And at the end of every mission, you could like completely customize your gun. Like you got money. Like and every you aspect. Could, like, yeah. You make it like diamond or like you get Dude, camos, you I get all forgot. these different attachments yeah. for it. I forgot get, the like, game the existed. Tube on the right. Yeah. 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 I literally forgot the game existed. I'm so happy you said that. I'm going to like watch gameplay of it later. I'm pretty sure it's, really it's like good. split screen or multiplayer. Yeah. Right? Yeah. yeah. It's like, it's, it's, I did the same you thing. You can do it single did. player, but like multiplayer is the way to go. I did the same thing Drew did, but I found it at a garage sale with my buddy and we played a bit of it. I'm pretty sure I kept it from Blockbuster. I still have mine. Yeah. Well, yeah, it's when Blockbuster was going out of business, my one friend went and rented like three games and they went out of business like two weeks later. So he's like, all right, fuck you. <laughs> cool. <is> sick. <laughs> it's like, what are they going to do? Send the IRS after me? The IRS <laughs> their one head office first, then they come after <laughs> me after. That's jokes. Um, I forgot how good of a game Yeah, was. dude, yeah, fuck. That, I'm actually down. Like, we should find it on PC and play. It's probably on Steam. Probably. They made a second one too. Oh. I know that. Army of um, two two. Army of two two. Army of four. <laughs> Jeez. Army of two twos and Army of four would be perfect because you know, yeah, let's go. Yeah. I would Rob, just, the, Rob doesn't. I, I'll just carry it. So no. Um. <laughs> so what I was gonna mention was Mr. Beast. Yeah. yeah. Uh, did you guys see his most recent series on with YouTube the, with no. the Tesla? The one million no. dollars. You no. give away a million dollars. Oh, with the yeah. hand on it. No, yeah. I haven't seen it. Well, but like I saw it was it was a bunch leading up to that, and like the winners got to do that, but yeah. Oh, it was like a full series. Yeah. Yeah. So it's like pretty much like he did like four challenges. Each one of those people, the winners moved on to this, challenge for a million dollars. Yeah. yeah. He gave away a million dollars. Yeah. And then the next video after the finale is the spending, spending a million dollars in 24 hours. Because he wanted to show proof of that this happened. Yeah. Crazy. What would you do with uh, that? Man, I'd buy a car first. You should first not be bat. spending that in 24 Well, I'd have like. Well, like, he, he, he wouldn't spend like, it all. So yeah. he bought like a house. He bought two cars, like one for him and his wife. He bought a bunch of stuff for his cousin and stuff. And then he saved the rest. But like. Yeah, I guess if you could count spending it as saving it, then like. Well, especially because like it's a. Uh, it's like, wouldn't it be. You'd get taxed like crazy. Dude, they should watch Mr. Beast. I don't know. It's. That might be a, like, different in the states. It. If that was here, you would. Dude, he explains the taxes in one of his videos. It's actually interesting. He explains like he's like, I get taxed to shit because I give it away tax free, right? Because I don't yeah. want to give someone like say he gives someone five hundred k. I don't want to give them like three ninety six or whatever it would be so, after taxes, right? That's actually a very popular thing that happens on all the game shows, like Prices Right. Yeah, do you uh, get like ripped Oprah off dude. when they give you the stuff? Mm -hmm. Like you have to pay the taxes on it because the show is not going to cover yeah. it. Yeah, and some people they can't afford the tax on it, so well, they just don't so, take the money. Or yeah, so the, the dumb thing is, like, I've, I've heard a lot of people say that they don't take it because they can't afford it, but then you can also just get the cash equivalent of the mm -hmm. prize, and then you just have to pay the taxes on the cash, but you have money, so you can do that. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, like, they should be able to take it no matter what. I saw a story of someone who won, like, a, like a fucking Corvette on the prices, right? And then they were, like, almost broke. They, like, they someone bought their ticket to go down the show with them, and it turns out the insurance and everything, the cost of owning ship would be too much, so they just gave the car back. I forget where I saw it. Yeah, able to get the cash. Or just yeah. sell the fucking car. Yeah. We have to pay the taxes before. You like, you have to, like, like uh, you have to own the car first. Yeah. So, like, it's kind of scummy. You th you'd think you'd want a game show if... Um, My mouth's so dry. Okay. Yeah. You'd think you'd, like, on the game show, you'd, like, come equipped to own it, right? Or uh, give it away. Like, if, like, I'm not a game show fucking CEO, but... Here, like, it's a lot of, with the, see, it depends what state. The states are so weird because every single state's completely different. Yeah. Whereas here, like, you win the lottery. If you win 60 million, you get, like, what, 40? 40. The rest yeah. of it goes to taxes. You lose a decent amount. But again, even if you win a million, you're still leaving with, like, say, 800,000. More money than you would have had before you bought the ticket. Correct. So, like, yeah. you can't who really cares? complain. The people who are like, oh, this is so stupid. I'm like, nah, you really. That's how the world works. It's like, you can't get around it. Mm -hmm. Taxes are, what do they say? Death, taxes, and, like, blank. You can fill it in. That's always going to be there. You know, that's, you know what that's saying? Hopefully. Something. Herpes? No, it's like, it's like, uh, it's like death taxes and Christian always wearing sweatpants. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, uh, it's like a meme. Yeah. Oh, okay. I thought it was like. 
Uh, your yeah. actual saying. Uh, uh, death saying. taxes and herpes. <laughs> <laughs> Three things you'll never avoid. <laughs> <laughs> death taxes and herpes. That should be a t-shirt. Make it. Find me a t-shirt guy. I could probably... That would take like five minutes to make and upload. I mean, you already made a shirt for her that has my face on it. Yeah. So... Never When's that shirt being re-released? Never. Fuck. Limited edition. One right? is one. Wait, you made five, right? Um, Did you make a bunch? There's, I remember seeing a picture from someone in the middle, like one of your fans oh, had it yeah. in the middle of nowhere. Someone fucking was cleaning their Jeep with it. They sent me a fucking <laughs> picture on Instagram. Wait, what? Oh, like they were wearing it while they're no, they were <laughs> washing their Jeep with the shirt. <laughs> oh. <with the shirts. laughs> yeah, I, I gave away two. One was to Sonan. That's who probably. But then the other one was to like wait. Sonan has a, one, a shirt yeah. with my face on. Mm. Oh, and then she said her grandma loves it. <laughs> Her grandma, <laughs> grandma just laughs at it, and then the other. How guy, old your grandma, Sonan? Oh, <laughs> no, wait. And, did, okay, continue. And then the <laughs> other guy who won it, I, I can't remember what his username was, but he's just like, "Thanks, I can't wait to show my dad and see how, like how disappointed he is that this is the one thing that I've won in a giveaway." <laughs> did you show Rob uh, that girl's reply? Oh yeah, 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 I did. yeah. 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 And then there was another one oh, that yeah. you sent me after too. Did I? Yeah, I, I some... want to read it because it was hilarious to go through. I was waiting for that. It was pretty jokes. Um, yeah. So her name was Angelica. Her last name. She... Her last name is now. Oh Vulcan. yeah, I saw this. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And then she replied saying it was amazing to meet me. And then thanks, Rob. I'm happily married, but I appreciate the compliment. <laughs> <laughs> That's what they all say. <laughs> Big yikes. <laughs> I like how Rob was able to tack on one more rejection before the end of the year. Yeah, exactly. He's like, you know, I never met or even seen before. He's like, I've only had thirty this year. Might as well make it thirty-one. Thirty. He's Actually, like yo, I, I, sure. I guess I could share some somewhat personal news. Uh huh. Ooh. Um. Ooh. So, n- leaving names out of it for now because nothing serious at the moment. Jessica, yeah, yeah. isn't it? I'm kidding. Um, <laughs> so my cousin, well, not really. Oh no, <laughs> no! 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 Oh no! Alabama, man. Oh, no! No! Jesus. No! So. So I haven't seen her in a really long time, okay? And she got kind of hot. So my my cousin is not really my cousin, if that makes sense. Oh, like you say, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I I get what you mean. Really close family friend, blah, blah, blah. She sends me a picture of like a girl wearing a Stefan Diggs jersey, the same one I have. And and she's like, you know who Stefan Diggs is, right? Vikings player. And I was like, damn, who is that? And she's like, oh, it's blank. She lives in where, where I live. Where we all mm-hmm, live. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And she's like, and she went to the school, which is the school yeah. you went to. And she's. Do you have the mics? I'm curious. Yeah. No, she, yeah, continue. And she, you might, you, she's your age. Wait. But you're, uh, you guys, well, you're, you're, you're a year on me, not two years. Never mind. So I'm, you might know who she is. So I'll ask you after. I'm two on you. Um, yeah. Shane dated her. Yeah. <laughs> Sloppy seconds, my favorite. Yikes. Um, Eskimo brothers. <laughs> but, uh, but so she's like a huge Vikings fan. Um, really? Goes to my gym. She brought me a BJ at work the other day. A, nice. bo- a booster juice. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, I love saying that on stream. Like, I got a BJ. Yep. And then, uh, yeah. Yesterday we did some Christmas shopping together. Man, you got to give me a name now. I'll tell you after. Just give me your first name. No, she's not gonna watch. No, it. yeah, she does. What if she does? Well, she's she's. This is power to her. Well, she would know by now that it's her, so it's not like yeah. Well, yeah, but we don't want to expose like, her. She would know her, but like the rest of the world would know. Yeah, true. So the dozens of fans we have in the yeah. city, millions, dozens. they're everywhere. <laughs> but, Can't get rid of them. But yeah. Oh, Rob, so that's hey. where I'm at. Things so, but what about the Christmas cousin? Break, eh? Uh, might be a threesome down the road, but that's about now. It. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's a backup plan. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you really gotta think about plan. You really gotta think a about backdoor you... plan if anything. <laughs> oh, oh no, no. Rob, that's your cousin. I didn't say no. It's not my actual cousin. Yeah, you gotta but think about how you I think start of her as my stories. cousin, so it would be like, yeah. But yes. yeah, I guess I didn't didn't really articulate my first sentence very well. So my cousin. So my cousin. <laughs> so my no. But um, yeah. So wow. We'll next see. level, man. We'll have an update on that front uh, next week. I just love that, uh, as far as I'm aware, the one thing you guys have in your relationship is just that you're both Vikings. No fans. relationships yet, man. No R words just yet. Yeah, but well, that's, that's, so a, that's, a start, that's, that's great. Still... That's a starting point. Yeah. yeah. It's like, like you're going to watch, well, actually, watch this together? This is perfect for you because if she's a Vikings fan, she's so used to disappointment uh, that okay. you're, you're a great fit. Man, the also... bar is like bottom floor. <laughs> yeah. The that's bar fair, is though. like, I don't know. Well, like, we'll see. We were going to watch the game today but too much shit's going on for both of us so yeah um maybe next week we'll see if they're still in it when is it sunday afternoon 
Sunday at one next weekend, so that's like pretty doable. Mm-hmm. No, so wait till the I. playoffs because uh, <laughs> hear that, ladies? That'll make or break everything. Oh yeah, either either the you're gonna see Rob literally at his worst. Either the floodgates are gonna open or the floodgates are gonna open. It's gonna be one of the two. If you catch my drift, yeah, he's gonna yes. shit himself or cry, <laughs> yeah. or both, yeah. or both, or neither. Same time, or neither. But yeah, so. Well, maybe I'll be a father this time next week. Maybe not. Who knows? A f- a f- Wait, what? what? A father? I didn't say hmm. anything. You got her pregnant. No. His cousin. I've never I've never had sex before That's in my life. That's why she reached back out. I've never. Dude, he's waiting his for mom marriage. listens to this. Yeah, Stop. come on, man. And my cousin is not my cousin listens to this, too. Oh, no. But, Wait, actually? Yeah, no, probably not. But if she, <laughs> Otherwise, she's never going to message her. Knowing, yeah. knowing my mom, she's going to... So like throw it on during the middle of like our Christmas dinner and be like, hey, listen to what Rob's doing now. It's gonna be talking about like boobs and vaping and shit. And that's just gonna be like, the worst guys. Thing listen, ever. there's hope for Rob Stell to play <laughs> that clip. Yeah. Everyone's just like eating turkey. Just stops. What? The they all hell? look at the cousin. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I don't know. It's so like it's so funny trying to explain to my mom like what like this whole like like industry is kind of like podcasts gaming streaming it's literally well, yeah. just it just blows sitting in a room it just blows boomers minds when you tell them that this is like <laughs> that, that's literally me and no, every you're right. single family get together yeah. i was like so what do you do it's like well i'm trying nothing. to say like, it's like she's, she's like how she's always like how can he have how can christian afford his his car and stuff does it actually matter <laughs> no, <I don't> <laughs> <laughs> she's like so how does he get money and i'm like i don't know like through like youtube ads and like people on twitch just they give him money just just for watching him and he's like yeah but like why are they giving him money and i'm like they just want to they want like, to think about it as like explain it like a waiter and tipping yeah it's, it's kind understand. of what i was trying to get get out with it but it's literally it's like it's like a it's like private entertainment industry it's like OnlyFans, for, but not Christian Schwing Dude, try D. to explain OnlyFans to them. That'll blow no. their fuck. I don't I get it. Like, what what honestly, are they? I don't get it. I feel like that would honestly make more sense. OnlyFans is... you pay them to show them your tits. It's literally just like... Uh, <laughs> you pay them to show you. <laughs> <laughs> It's Patreon, like, monthly. And they it's post, like, like look. they post nudes and sometimes, like, full porn. Do you guys know who Miss Kiff is? Yeah. No. Yeah, his sister was doing that Miss really? but like because like Miss Kiff has that? like a huge following now yeah and his sister's <laughs> doing that and and it, like she porn. made like <laughs> 10k in like a week what yeah because Miss Kiff like again his following's huge and they're all just like like oh teens. is that why they always make fun of him being like your sister does porn and yeah shit? yeah yeah, oh. yeah. <laughs> wait what does Miss Kiff do like, he's, he's a big thing? twitch streamer yeah yeah he's what's he play or like what's he play everything Pardon me. he's just like known as for his personality yeah oh. he's i think he's actually hilarious mm-hmm. just like but regardless yeah his sister because like i saw a bunch sister. of podcasts with for her personalities <laughs> yeah but i saw a bunch of like personalities <laughs> clips with his sister in it and then I see one where it's like, you guys are the worst. And then he explains, like, she made $10,000. She made more than she made over the last, like, four months because of you idiots. Did we talk about OnlyFans last week? A little um, bit. Maybe I, I talked remember. about it on stream or something. But we were talking about it at uh, Vegas because there's now a lot more people in the Siege community who are going over to OnlyFans. And, uh, <laughs> Dudes? No, what? No. Oh. The girls. Um, yeah, and okay. From what we've heard, they make a ridiculous amount of money. Mm-hmm. And on top of that, like, so apparently there's some, like, messaging feature in OnlyFans. You were telling me about this. Yeah. I you know, we were on stream the other day, and that's what you okay. were telling me. Yeah, yeah. So apparently. Yeah. So apparently there, <laughs> there's some messaging feature. Don't know feature firsthand. <laughs> where, like, you can message Or them. secondhand. <laughs> or thirdhand. You can message them, <laughs> or but both. you have to pay money for mm-hmm. it. So, like, you, you DM someone, it's, like, 50 bucks. Why? Or something. I don't know. And, like... That way they will respond to you. Um, and this one girl was like leaving a guy on red, just not responding because she knew that if she left him like that, she would get more money out of him. Good for her. That, and I was like, capitalist, real. but like that's such a capitalist shit thing know. to do. Man, I, well, I, I just I feel bad for the guys who actually think that if you pay someone through OnlyFans, they're gonna talk to you, or no, that they're gonna like anything's gonna happen. They think that there's gonna be a relationship. I feel out like that. they're uh, just kind of getting what they deserve. They they are, but I can't help but feel bad. It's like the same yeah, thing when it's people sad. like Chris it's like, like it's that, was, that was me once. <laughs> now, now I just feel bad. Like, it's I, literal sad cringe. Yeah. I, I yeah. see the same thing in like people who are addicted to gambling and stuff, where it's just like I feel so bad for you, but like you're hundred percent getting what you deserve by like yeah. just throwing. But there's, money away but like there's that. nothing you can do. Why? No, it's like, I uh <laughs> They they feel validated when they get a message back, so all the power to them. Mm-hmm. I guess. And the girl gets money. Like it's I, uh, it's sad and 
sad. I was in the I was it. in the YouTube uh, rabbit hole and stumbled upon a video. Um, it was one of those like extreme cheapskate videos, mm-hmm. and this guy. And there was a clip of you. Tipping. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, like, it. it was me. I was like, "Whoa, how did I get there?" <laughs> um, no, it was this guy who the whole <laughs> the whole episode was like him being cheap, mm-hmm. and then it all oh, it all shit. like uh, led up to him in a doctor. Oh, so he did a bunch of clinical trials to get money, and he's like, "Yeah, one clinical trial, like I got I got injected with E. coli, paid me ten grand, and everyone was like, "What? Nice. That's big <laughs> and money." Then, and the, it all led up to him being in a doctor's office and they were talking about how much he was going to sell his testicle for. And the clinical trial was like, he's going to get 35 grand and his testicle was going to get replaced with like an artificial one. And the doctor's like, so why are you doing this? And he's like, oh, the money. And the doctor's like, that may not be the best decision, but we can go <laughs> forward if you want. And fake, that's going to be rough. A fake like nut a for 10K? Mm-hmm. Sign me the fuck 35 up. 35 I'll give them both. <laughs> as long as I can still, like, you know. Literally, everyone in the comments is like 100% gambling addiction. Probably. Probably. Oh, yeah. If you're willing to sell your literal left nut. You, you I'd sell my like left, it. maybe not the right. Yeah, I Depends know. on what sits higher, then I'll get rid of the other Left's one. Left's always lower. Yeah. Left's out the door. See ya, bud. That's what I mean, yeah. See ya. Yeah. Everyone, <laughs> wait a second. <laughs> All I hear is, hey, wait for me. <laughs> Rob gets like a carbon fiber ball just so it sits a little yeah, bit higher. Yeah, carbon fiber. I got like a, a spoiler on it. <laughs> You're going to get the red tiger camo. Red right? tiger camo on my ball it's sack. flames up the sides. <laughs> the big, that scene from Jackass, you know the volcano scene I'm talking about? Oh, no, Dude. no, no. Do you know what I'm talking about? I don't want to know. And just imagine a volcano, but it's like a Your guy's asshole? butt pooping. Yeah. <laughs> and like the ass is covered in like as much. there's a did you see there's a supposedly a new jackass <laughs> yeah, coming well enough <laughs> there's a new jackass movie coming out really uh, yeah like because i like only rumored right now but uh didn't the guy die yeah, one, one guy of them did. died yeah oh rip ryan guy. ryan dunn no uh, johnny knoxville still there steve-o oh, okay. still there okay. it's it's like like he was still a beauty but he was like one of the color commentary guys you could call oh, him yeah. i guess yeah. um yeah kind of sucked that he died but those movies were fucking great. Holy yeah. Shit. Legendary. Have you ever seen one? I see clips. That's your homework for tonight. The, the, best, <laughs> the best clip ever is the, the porta potty one for sure. Oh, and he's just going up and down. Yeah, I've seen that one. Uh, everyone has. Like, it's by far the best clip That's ever. That's the one where he's like puking inside of a helmet, right? And then just like. Yeah. Well, kind of, yeah. They, they put him in like a big slingshot and he's on a porta potty. So it slings all the way up. And then as soon as he hits the top, all the shit in the porta potty, like floats up and yeah. it's just floating around him oh, and then dude, he hits the ground and then as it. he goes up again he's throwing up everywhere and then all the barf is like floating around him and then everybody on the ground because like when it goes just up getting sprayed. It, like, when it hits the ground okay. again if you stop Rob's actually gonna <laughs> now nah, he's it. fine I'm just it goes up when it hits the ground there's like, like <laughs> sp- there's a cloud underneath puke that way I'm not gonna puke I just get like bubbles in my stomach Man, but yeah i made like i made like out. six people on the ground throw up <laughs> so i stepped in dog shit yesterday <laughs> okay <Good>. um <laughs> so i've always heard that a lot of people really like the jackass films as opposed to like all these prank channels you find now because mm-hmm. yeah. the prank ones are like going out of their way to harass other people whereas jackass right. like they only ever did themselves Fuck with they each just other, mess yeah. with each other they're just yeah. like they just get super fucked and, and maybe bam's parents yeah <laughs> but bam's parents always laugh remember when they built a skate park inside their house and her, his mom walks in just like, like what am i supposed to do here like my house is gone <laughs> they literally like took the whole living room and kitchen out <laughs> or when they or when <laughs> skate ramps in. or when they fake kidnapped bam's dad like four in the morning <laughs> yeah. they had like a, or, a giant stv pull in with like giant big burly dudes with a mask I'm like, we're coming to take you start pulling this old fat dude out of the fucking bed <laughs> or literally like setting fireworks off in their room at like 3 a.m yeah but like real fireworks yeah <laughs> like not big like, like like legit like the fucking big chinese dragon ones they're well, like the, up. the parents are like your typical hillbilly type people hillbilly right? ish kind yeah. of but like, like think, they're, they're loaded up think from hillbilly if your son was a professional skateboarder that has way too much money correct yeah so hillbilly but like yeah. they're so funny they're always like no don't do this like oh didn't they I, like super glue bam's dad to that mini dude Oh yeah, they, they yeah. Him, and then his hair was coming off on the onto the mini guy. It was <laughs> gross. I remember the only clip I saw of them fucking with their parents was uh, when they like 
slid down the stairs on like a mattress or something and just took out the front door of the <laughs> oh, that's house. The, <laughs> no, that's light work compared yeah. to what they usually do though. But every time like like the mom or dad will turn the corner and be like, what the hell? <laughs> I don't know whose house it was at, like in terms of them, but one of them, they they took a jet ski and like hopped one of the hedges with it too. Oh, wasn't that Johnny Knox? Knox yeah. 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 Like out of the pool. Yeah, and like hit and a ramp like, to jump. It was ahead. like on a hill too, so like it was a, it was like some hang time, and he's just chilling on a jet ski. Yeah. So he, like he's in the pool, he hits the ramp, and it goes like pretty much through the top of the hedge. Yeah, and then again, as he said, it's a hill, so he, he there's he, he lands and it hard. goes. <laughs> like, I, I, I kind of want to start with this now. We should fuck with Rob. Yeah, if he can, dude, I made sure. a glass. I'd if be he broken. can react like that, just of by talking about it imagine if we actually fuck with them the funniest ones are like they'll be just walking out of their like team trailer and they have this huge spring-loaded boxing glove oh yeah and they'll walk out (laughs) and just let it go and just like knock the guy out oh wasn't it like a hand there was one with the hand hand one with like flower and the guy's like high five (laughs) and as he gets there but that thing was going like (laughs) the funny thing was the guy puts his hand up for the high five (laughs) and it just gets clapped the thing's going like it seems like it's going like 100 miles an hour when it hits oh dude last one i'll bring up is when they have that little sign that the text gets smaller and smaller and it's like, hey guys, we're from here. It's like it's like a fake note from girls, and you have to get really close to read the end of it. And something pumps to the wall. And it's like... <laughs> oh man! Yeah, you should go and watch it. Yeah, there's some good. I ones. would not be able to handle all that like shit. It's and so puke. funny. It's just like well, the, there's not out. as much. It's, it's not all gross. It's not shit and puke. Well, like... The only thing gross, the like really is when like they they always get fucked up. Yeah, like yeah. Stevo, the list of injuries he's had. Yeah, man, Steve-O's YouTube channel is good. Yeah, he sobered up pretty hard too, man. Like, yeah. His voice fucks with me so much. Well, it's because like, man, he was smoking like yeah. everything under the sun. You ever heard yeah. of Wild Boys? That series they did. Steve-O and one other guy that go out into the wilderness and live with like, this African tribe for like two weeks. Like really? smoked every day, and they just like, but they're doing fuck shit. Like they're cutting off pieces of their skin and doing like rituals with it, and like. It's a really fucked series. Like, it's called Wild Boys. <laughs> That's nuts. You guys should look. look Steve was nuts. Yeah. Steve went up like Mount Everest with Chuck Liddell or something, and just for fun, Steve was like, "Chuck Liddell, can you choke me out?" Like on top of dude, it was Everest. hilarious. And, and Chuck so Liddell's like, "Yeah, yeah, yeah." He's and like, like, "Sure." Chokes him out till Steve was actually like knocked out. <laughs> Steve like tries to tap out too, and, <laughs> and he's just, he's just like, no, "You asked for <laughs> it." Chuck I, he's I like this massive name. like the ice MMA, MMA fighter, yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Like, but like one of the probably originals, yeah. yeah or one of the OG. one of the but big, like mainstream huge. dudes. Like, yeah. It doesn't yeah. even matter who he is; he's massive. Mm-hmm. But Steve was like, "Can you choke me out?" And he does it. And you're right; Steve was like tapping out, and he <laughs> yeah. chokes him out till Steve was not moving. <laughs> have you guys ever, ever gotten choked out before? No, no, I have once. I've been not. Oh, really? Out. Yeah. By who? Just a buddy at school. It was by his room. cousin. For fun. Yeah. yeah. It was fucked, dude. You told mom about us. I just remember being like. I was like, okay, like if I tap, like stop it. And he's like, yeah, sure. And the next thing I know, it's been like twenty minutes. And I'm just like, what happened? He's like, I choked you out. Like you, like you asked. And then I just remember being like, I don't remember anything. I remember him doing this part, and mm-hmm. then kind of jerking me around a bit. And then I just remember opening my eyes. Yikes! <laughs> jerking me Why around. Oh, oh, oh. Out. Rob's like just saying, like, Daddy, choke me out. <laughs> As no, it was because we, like, we were on some weird, like we were on some like weird like, WWE phase for like a month. And then we were just like, man, they don't even choke each other out in WWE. I know, but I just like, I never, I forget why. I just want to get choked out. Rob just gets suplexed every day when he walks. Nah. I mean, there's a fun. couple of suplexes in the last Leafs game. It was funny. It was really? pretty jokes. Yeah. Shout out to Drew, making national TV. Yeah, you want to see Drew? Drew? Do you guys have a picture of He's it? He's the most famous. Yeah, I, I got a yeah. picture, but like, actually, I haven't showed Rob, so I'll show him. I, Shane, I, Shane, I sent, I sent the, them all. Oh, did Shane you? sent yeah. me the picture. Well, while wait, we're here. Wait, did you? Uh, what? Eight, they, the least one eight six. Really? Yeah. I saw it on the screen. <laughs> what the hell? Eight um, six is a football game or yeah, something. What? But yeah, sorry, no. So Bree, Bree's um eight six. We got tickets from work. Like some dude just walked from work. She's like, who wants Leafs tickets? She's like, I do. He's like, cool here. And they were like VIP platinum up uh, against the glass section 103 up right against the glass so my dad was just sending me pictures and me on tv the whole time and you were in your st pat's jersey <laughs> yeah so, so it made it easy to find yeah it. yeah brie got me a new st pat's jersey for christmas which like for those of you who don't know it's like their green vintage one it, it's my favorite jersey in all of sports yeah I must it's a say. matthews one so then matthews was man, buttery dude they were up so close to those guys are huge so, matthews was just like yeah actually so okay so like so drew's at the game and for the first like period and a half i'm sitting an inch away from my tv (laughs) waiting for it like because he's in the corner and the tv cameras are on his side of the ice so like you have to have a very specific angle to see drew 
and like there was nothing happening. You just see his nose. But like, but like there's like because it's curved, it's a bit of it's glared, so you can't really yeah. see the fans there. So what we needed was someone to celebrate a goal in that corner. So Matthew He's scores always, the like, first fans. goal, and he celebrates to the opposite corner. And me oh. and my dad are like, "Are you fucking Fuck kidding me? We're this close." Then he he dekes out the whole team, scores a really nice goal, and turns to that corner, and all you see is everyone sitting there and Drew's like <laughs> up against the glass, going crazy. That was the best. I'm, I'm so happy you wore that jersey too. I know it took yeah. us so long to find Man, that. Literally, though. like as Matthews is coming in, he like it was the he's nice already he's standing move. already. Man, he's like he like pulls around like yeah, yeah. <laughs> he scores, let's go. Am I fair? Honey, settle down. <laughs> that was my favorite. The photo that Shane sent me, where she's yeah. like, you can see she's in the middle being like, Rue. Rue. <laughs> yeah. just yelling. Like, <laughs> yeah. So my dad sent me a picture, and it was like uh, Hyman got tripped in front of me, and I have my arms up like this, yelling at the ref, and Breeze just turned to me like Drew, yelling at me, yelling at the ref, <laughs> just on like live television. I was fucking sick. Yeah. yeah, it was unreal. One for the memory books. Mm-hmm. I wish I could have done something like that. So. What's better, the box seats or the front row seats? Front row, front row, hundred percent. So like, why why are box seats considered such a big deal? I think box seats. Well, well you get a view. bunch of free stuff. Okay, so box yeah. seats, you get the the free stuff, and from front row, if the puck truly isn't in your corner, yeah, you can't see shit. Yeah, right. yeah. it's really um, far like away. If like if they're digging in the detail. puck, like over here, like if or like, or like if yeah. you're if you because you have a net right in front of you, so if the play is here, which for Drew, most of the play was actually in that end, yeah. it worked out. But if the play's in the other end the whole time, you you can't see anything. Yeah, you're watching the like, thing on the and TV. the box seats are like above, so you can see you see down. the whole yeah. ice nice. Okay. In terms of like hockey game experience, probably front row, like the ambiance and like yeah, like in it. The ambiance like, is and you're the only person freaking out. Yeah, yeah, pretty yeah. Everyone's probably freaking out. Uh, there's no, there's not, where, not where he was sitting. Yeah. No, it was like it was me. <laughs> all the wine and cheesers probably up there. And then, Bray, and then like two two ladies, and then like a bunch of like stiff suits behind us. I was gonna say where yeah. Drew was sitting, there there aren't many fans. Yeah, there's a lot of business deals going down. Yeah, but like in terms I can of take us to a Leafs game, yeah. it is expensive. Try it in terms of <laughs> in terms of like watching the game, the whole like the whole game, like seeing everything, probably box seat. Mm-hmm. I'd say like again, if we're going to a football game, box seats are probably the most ideal. Cause yeah, like, but they the the box seats in football games are in a better spot. Too. Yeah, I like, guess yeah, it's hard to compare because you're also comparing like a twenty thousand capacity stadium with like hundred k, eighty k, so. Football too. There's 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 a shit ton of bad seats. Yeah, there's too um, many. Whereas bad at seats. the ACC, they're really it, unless you're obstructed view, there isn't really a bad seat. Yeah, per which se. is crazy to me that they'll actually sell tickets for obstructed view. Yeah, they're cheaper. People <laughs> yeah, will buy them. Still like eighty bucks. They're, yeah, they're only eighty bucks. <laughs> yeah, but you gotta watch the TV that's right here because this part of the thing, you can't see anything else. They'll just see with like a fucking concrete pillar right like, in front of you. When, Why would you pay 80 bucks for it? You could just so watch we, it from home. So we, I paid, paid 100 bucks for like two Jays tickets like when they were in the playoffs with obstructive view. And I would do it again. It was amazing. It's like, you can also kind of just like go watch the balcony or the concourse too if you want. Mm-hmm. Like buy a ticket to But like in. if you've been to the, the like Rogers Center, like obstructive view, like I was like, like at the, like the very last seat against the wall. So it took me 20 minutes to, hike up to my seat and then you get there and the lights come down like right in front of me so i can't see any of like the right field but i can see everything else fine and also like realistically like i'm like 100 and i'm in the 300 foot yeah. level and i'm in, at the top of it so i'm at like 350 400 feet you have to bring your oxygen you can't am i really so, yeah. but am i really seeing everything fine no i'm just you get everything yeah. but it was the first experience. time i've ever been there that the place was sold out and the, what's the Rogers Center seat? Like 53,000? Yeah, yeah, some nuts. I thought it was 60, 60K with the new seats that they added, right? Something like that. More obstructed views. But, like, but still, crazy. Either way, fucked. Crazy. Uh, like, part of going to live sports, live sports, is just <laughs> is like, is the atmosphere for sure, though. I guess. I don't know. I, I can't. I, I know I'm just very weird and that I don't enjoy those things. Because, like, even when I told you guys when well, I was in Vegas. Well, you didn't play sports, I don't think. So it's no, like. No, but, like, it's for everything. Even when I was in Vegas and we were gambling, like, there were people at my table who were freaking out over the smallest things and, like, or even big plays. I'm like. Okay. That's why I want to go with Drew. We'll just have, like, a $20 cap and just, like, we go nuts if we win, like, $3. <laughs> $20 cap. You walk in, walk out again, pretty much. Yeah, like, yeah that's what like we do. Table. You're in for an hour. You can't even do 20 cents. Well, not yeah. in Vegas, yeah. No, and I think yeah, I'm talking slots, but yeah, imagine slots. in Vegas you walk in with like a couple toonies, just throw them on the table. It's like, what can I get for this? It's like a glass of water. The guy it's just a... smacks you. No, not you're free to go. <laughs> yeah, the, the, cheapest hits you on the, the cheapest thing at Vegas was fifteen dollar tables, American mm-hmm. per hand. Fifty. Fifteen. Oh, but it was like it went fifteen, twenty five, fifty. I wish I gambled when I went there, but 
also probably was for the best I didn't. Wouldn't have been my money. Well, apparently, they also uh, bring out cheaper tables on the weekdays. So if you were there on weekday, you could probably do like five, ten dollars. My boss, like, said, he gave me like 50 bucks. He's like, go kill two hours, just don't gamble. So I was like, okay. I almost did, but I didn't do it. If you're watching this old boss. There's like in the back corner of uh, Paul's view, (laughs) there's like, there's like hundred dollar slot machines. I've never oh, yeah. seen anyone use them, but really? I want to. And in Vegas, there's like, there's, I've seen thousand, or I've heard there's like thousand dollar slot machines. Yeah, there was a few people back there. Thousand dollars. Crazy. Yeah, where it's like every single pull of that handle, thousand Fuck. bucks gone. That's a yikes, dude. How do you that's pay for a slot? You yikes. put your card in or something? Wow. Or like, you that one you put in a thousand dollar bill. Yeah. Is there even such things as a thousand dollar bill? Used to but, be. No, there's still. Is. In the US? But, not in Canada. It's not in like. Yeah, in the U.S., there's still valid currency and there's still yeah, a lot yeah. in circulation, but they don't make any new ones. Oh, it's the same with Canada, but mm-hmm. mine is still a lot in circulation. Mm-hmm. Yeah, uh, most of them are just cards. You put a card in, oh, it sure. just charges it to your. Because I thought you were trolling, but then I was like, "Is there such a <laughs> thousand really dollar bill?" Tell. I knew there is. Some guy came in with it. He's like, "Hey, can I get a thousand dollar bill?" We're like, "We don't have any." He's like, "You're a bank." I'm like, "They don't make make them anymore." <laughs> What's the highest bill? Like hundred? Yeah. It's like you're a bank. Yeah, you're an idiot, bud. Out of my store. <laughs> <laughs> There's also five hundred. What of it? Five hundred dollar bill as well. Yeah. Dude, have you guys ever heard of two dollar um, bill, one dollar bill, the penny? Uh, I what? haven't actually. I remember my kids Yo, telling me about that. I actually, yeah, they, they're they're pennies. Not my kids, my, my grandparents. My kids. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, I put on a coat that I hadn't worn in forever, and I found a penny in it. And I'm like, that just goes to show, like. How, how I don't wear this coat. When I'm at work, I don't even give pennies out anymore. I it's, remember all this stink of like... supposed to. Yeah. Like you're supposed to technically at the place I work. No, you're not. It's no. wrong. There's pennies in the thing. You're supposed to send them back to the Bank of Canada. Yeah, you're not supposed to have them in circulation. Like they're out of, I remember like, Niall was saying, he's like, don't use them. <laughs> but then, And then like my other guy who works there was like, if there's like if it's like 53, then if there's pennies... You're supposed to round it. it. It's fifty three dollars, yeah, so he well, gives you three dollars worth of pennies. <laughs> I've been rounding it. I'm not using pennies, but yeah, like they're still. That's there. definitely just like the owner of your store trying to cut costs in like the most remedial yeah. way, probably. But like, yeah, I, I, the big stink when they pulled pennies out. It's so nice that we don't have them. Yeah, like, oh yeah, because everyone's like everything's gonna round up. Well, you're right. Yeah, but like it's Man, so nice. Like, would you rather get rid of nickels? Fuck it. Yeah. Would you rather pay an extra? Yeah, honestly. now we're just gonna go dollars. It's, just, yeah. it's, it's like, like so nice one though. Dollar. We're gonna round up to so like fifty bucks. If you're trying to buy like one thing in the grocery store, it's like you're around fifty. But no, honestly, like even I think nickels wouldn't be extreme either. If you just round it to the nearest dime, like that would be so nice. Like I would, I'd rather pay everything. Like I would pay. I usually like, just donate nickels and dimes anyway. Yeah, I'd pay. Same. I'd pay. I'd rather pay two fifty for something rather than like two thirty. It pisses me so like off so much that everything in the store, like produce wise, is still price like 2.99 yeah like just three dollars done yeah i don't care that you're making so an extra penny all marketing. no it's because yeah it's no a, i know it's it a is. mental thing yeah but it's like you'd, you're gonna pay for something that's 2.99 not three dollars mm-hmm. but still it's still stupid you no, can, you should, it's just, go, it's oh, just it's a way $2. of just a way of thinking you can get rid of that well yeah because you see the first number but shane's <laughs> definitely the person who would be like just I'm drink paying, the kool-aid yeah fuck. yeah you'd be like i'm i'm paying for a three dollar one not the 2.99 yeah exactly <laughs> yeah exactly well if, if, if it's 2.99 for three definitely the other way around with no change no, i no, i would get it wouldn't matter no, exactly i would rather round three dollars give me my give you a five give me a two and you back i want this fucking no, change give them the five as a tip I also oh, hate right, that, like, yeah. we, even the person at the grocery store. We do everything in pounds. All the shelf prices are in pounds. Yet when you pay, it's in kilograms. Canada's is like, the, why is the metric Just, system the weird one that Canada shouldn't be using? Or no, where Imperial is only used by the U.S. and yet, like one yet, African country. It still lingers. And we use Just some kill sort it of combination. It's yeah. We, kill, the, kill the past. Well, the U.K. does as well. Their signs and like their speed on cars is all in miles per hour, but they talk about distance in kilometers. Oh, and really? then they use stone for weight. Yeah. Which is really stone. weird. Yeah, man. You'd be like three stone. I'll take that. Three and a half. Add in some pebbles. <laughs> I, round, off, round me off with I'm some pebbles. I'm pretty sure you'd more be like 15 or something. Yeah. Probably. I guess stone is like 15 or 16 pounds. Just round me off with some pebbles. That's all. All right. You'd, you'd how many like... pebbles and how many stones do I wear? With how much sand in between? You wouldn't be that much, but Ben, because he's got a couple kidney stones. Yeah. Ben. His yeah. price would be pretty high right now. Each one, each one adds a stone. <laughs> it's, it's, yeah. a, it's exponential. Yeah. He's like, you're a stone, but nice. You got a couple. <laughs> you got an extra couple sitting inside you there. <laughs> Good luck shitting those out. <laughs> or don't, don't you piss them out. You don't shit you out a kidney out. stone. Oh, okay. Which I didn't know. Apparently, the Hopefully least painful part not. is pissing it out. Yeah. Because well, it's past it. Well, it just I, sits in your kidney, stabbing dude. you. Well, because I watched that episode of Friends where like Joey 
uh, like has to piss out a kidney stone. He's Joey like, Tribbiani. He's like freaking out. It's like forget it's about it. Yeah. It's awful. And then I'm, I was talking to my friend who had one. He's just like, no, the hard part is like passing it from your kidney to your urethra or whatever. I think it depends though, because it gets to a point where again you can't pass it. Thank fuck but, I don't. Yeah. I've never had one. I really just, hope if I you don't drink need a lot of water. You should be fine. I drink a shit ton yeah. of water. I do too. Um, does anybody have any final topics? Uh, no. My nose oh, is getting Merry lit. Christmas. Merry Christmas. And a happy new year. This comes out. Oh, no, we'll Christmas. be back for New Year's, you idiot. No, he happy won't. next week. You won't Fucking, be here? Yeah, I will. Won't. We went over this at the start of the podcast. <laughs> I don't know. Don't be out of everyone. Don't be, like, don't be I said, all of a sudden, all of a sudden, I believe Rob's gonna make more podcasts next year. Who's gonna miss the most podcasts next oh, year? We should do that. Yeah, next Christian. week. No, next week we can do. No, like, but he's the only one who's like he's guaranteed to not to. Yeah. <laughs> but what we should do that next week for podcasts is like talk about like make bets on. The we year should end. come up on like a, like, year with a bunch bets of year bets. Year yeah, yeah, yeah. Down. Okay. okay. Do make Get some, some bets. stats going in here. But Rob, you uh, you missed it. Drew had the weirdest fucking freak out. Man, I was stressing so hard. Yeah, he it was, was. So stupid. It was just like he messaged me. He's just like, okay, can we do the podcast Thursday? I'm like, wait, this week. I yeah, he's just like, no, it comes out Wednesday. And I was like, it comes out Wednesday. Like, how the fuck are we gonna do it on Thursday? <laughs> well, you he's just, just like, push it back. And he's just like, Christmas, lol. I'm like, what is that? Because <laughs> no, no. he said, do you mean Tuesday? And I'm like, no, it's oh, yeah. Christmas. <laughs> Not, it's, it's not even it's Christmas Tuesday is Christmas Man, Day. My, we get to it on fucking Christmas like, Day. <laughs> my, <laughs> Wednesday is Christmas Day. Fuck it. Okay, bro. yeah, fuck. Jesus whatever. Christ. Either way. But my yeah. whole point was it was Christmas. People probably won't care if it comes out a day later. Yeah, but all you said was Christmas lull. And I was like, <laughs> what am no, I supposed okay. to make of this? <laughs> you guys both have a point. That's it. No, but well, the, no. The, the thing was that we scheduled this podcast specifically so, so that, that Drew he, could make and it. And you could make it. And then Drew no, was, it was just... No, it was so Rob could make it. And no, you. No, it was you because I remember last week you were like, oh, if it's four, I'm fine because exactly. I work from home. Yeah. And, and then I, like on Sunday night, he's just like, <laughs> he's like, no, 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 can't do it. I can't. I'm like, <laughs> it's because it's I thought all... Because my family's coming in from Texas and BC and I thought they were coming like this evening, but then they showed up at three, literally as I was like leaving. Yeah. And my mom's like, yeah, they're coming tomorrow like in the afternoon. I'm like... Like I'm a dick. Yeah. Well, gonna, you're not a dick. You're gonna, gonna see them. Aren't tonight? they gonna be there for like a few days? Yeah, man. But like, oh my god, oh, oh, haven't like, seen uh, you in like a year. See ya. Sorry, I, I have a prior commitment I need to get to. Haven't seen you in a year. I hope you understand. Hold man. up. How's your family? I, I, sounds like an eight, asshole. How's your eight-year-old cousin gonna understand that? She doesn't give a shit about you. <laughs> That's true. She doesn't even know who you are. I'm her only something. cousin. <laughs> oh we went over this. The Venn diagram. Now that I know she's eight. She doesn't care. <laughs> also, I want to just point out when she's I was just wiping her ass. <laughs> <laughs> when I was pointing out, or when I was talking about going to Vegas, every single time Drew was just like, "Fuck the family thing. Okay, go, to much, Vegas, go to yeah, Vegas. Go to Vegas." He's like, "You see, <laughs> you can see them another time. Who cares?" Exactly. For this. And we have like an hour. Your and family half. lives close to you. He's got an hour and a half commitment. He's gonna see them for the next three days. There's too much negativity. Mean, meanwhile, it's I an hour like, forty-five with all Rob, this nonsense. Rob, just enjoy it. It's not on you this time. <laughs> yeah. Come on, jump in, pal. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> Who's getting hot here? <laughs> Which, by the way, surprisingly, at least for me, it's not that no, hot here. No, dude, I'm, there's I'm, actually somehow a nice breeze. I'm yeah, sweating, I'm but sweating. I'm also in a sweater. So I'm yeah. sweating. I, I thought it was going to be a, a lot hotter. But like, no, it's not noticeably though. Like, <laughs> it's no so. worse than over there. No, it's nicer in here than there. I'll Correct. Yeah, I thought like with these lights set up, it would be I think really hot. This door is bigger than the other door we have. Well, especially now that you have your uh, fan working on your PC. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it takes a little bit of the heat out. That's a thick HDMI cable. That blue one. Holy fuck. Oh, yeah. yeah. But that's dumb thing. Well, anyways, so happy holidays. Yeah. Happy oh, Hanukkah. Happy, Merry happy Christmas. Christmas. Yeah. Uh, Feliz Navidad. Happy holidays. Merry Christmas if you celebrate Merry Chrysler. It. Merry Chrysler. Too early and, uh, Hanukkah. Yeah. Happy Hanukkah. See you in a week, so fuck the new year. And... Yep. We're, probably, Wait, we're, we're not, not going to make it till 2020, so. Wait, what? 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 I, Actually, I, guess, I guess technically the next podcast will come out in the new year. Yeah, it'll be January 1st. Happy New Year's. No, well, we'll what, no, record no, we have that like, podcast. Yeah, I know, but like you, you, like, yeah, they'll wake be safe up to on, it. Be safe on New Year's Eve. Yeah. No, okay. Don't. There we go. There don't we go. be safe. Be reckless. It's the one day, last don't, day of the year. Last we'll get day of the year. Stuck on a subway. Kiss your crush. Okay. <laughs> 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 All right, we're done. See you guys. Bye.